All right, back with another pair of low heat, some dunks this time. I'm excited to open this pair. I'm always excited, right? Why am I specifically excited to open this pair? Because I was able to get these for retail, but not just for retail. I didn't get lucky um, per se. I uh, just, they were just sitting there. So that's why I'm excited to get these in. I didn't have to jump through a million hoops, enter a million raffles to get these, uh, get lucky on sneakers, pay resale, you know, all, all the above. I just was able to cop these online like a semi-normal person, uh, you know, in this day and age of e-commerce. So, um, not semi-normal person because people, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. A person who's just looking for a pair of sneakers online. A normal person not looking for Travis Scott Jordans. Um, so that's why I'm excited to open these. Now, the downside, the, the, the flip side of that coin is, why was I able to cop these? Um, just sitting online. They were sitting on uh, Cream uh, 321's website. And they're sitting on other websites too. Just look for these. You already know what they are. It's in the title, in the thumbnail. Um, why are they sitting at retail? Well, one reason we'll get into is the colorway, but uh, just, I think it's the economy, right? The economy overall, uh, and that, that affects everything from um, just money in your pocket, inflation, people don't have as much money, their dollar doesn't go as far, gas prices, stocks are down, crypto's down, collectibles are down, and of course, the sneaker market's kind of down. No one's paying triple for a regular dunk anymore, double for dunk highs. They're just It's just not happening. And uh, we'll get into some regrets here, too, if I remember to bring that up. But um, So that's part of the reason these were sitting there. So these are the Nunk, N Nike, Nunky, Nike Dunk High Retro in orange and orange deep royal blue. Deep royal blue, size 11 and a half. I think these were... Let's see, 110, I think. 110, maybe. Uh, let's look at the sheet. Yeah, oh, 115. Highs are always a little bit more. Uh, it's crazy to me how they have like that much more leather and then they charge you like five bucks more. But then on something like um, Louis Vuitton Air Force One mids, uh, they charge you uh, an extra an extra stack. Uh, so, Anyway, shipping was pricey on these, 23 bucks for shipping. Shipping costs are going up, so I kind of understand it. But in all, I paid 138 for these, and uh, they're definitely, you know, they're not going for a lot. They're sitting at retail, so, like, in, in a sense, I might have even overpaid. If you look at some resale down the road in a couple months, people might be selling these for 90 add in taxes, fees, shipping. Might come to under 138 Still happy. Let's see how they look, see how happy I am. Oh, Okay. This is a more vibrant orange than I was expecting. Huh. Huh. Okay. I, I kind of like it. Kind of like it more than I thought. So, um, cool. Cool. So, yeah, I got 11 and a half. That's my size. Dunks usually run true to size, if you know. If you didn't know, now you know. Um, take these in for a second. Before I start blabbing. Okay. Okay. So one reason I think these are sitting is uh, the colorway orange and blue. It's not for everyone. I'll admit it's maybe not even my favorite colorway. I got wrapped into just, you know, seeing a pair for retail. I really like dunks. I like dunk highs. Some people really, you know, only mess with dunk lows, but I think they're crazy, especially if they wear, whether they wear Jordan 1 highs. I'm not going to get into that rant. I've done it before. But um, same designer, practically same shoe, same era. Uh, to me, you're a little crazy if you don't like dunk highs and you wear Jordan 1 highs. But um, anyways, uh, so part of it's the colorway, I think. Uh, but I think these, uh, again, I'm mainly about the silhouette and, uh, comfort of your foot in them. I wouldn't wear, walking these in a ton of miles, if you know dunks at all. Like, to me, they're comfy just to, you know, do short stints in, uh, go to the movies, go to a bar, whatever. Go out, go get your coffee, walk to work if you're going to be sitting most of the day. But, yeah, I'm not putting serious miles in these. That Then these aren't that comfy. Going to Disneyland, whatever. Whatever you might do that would uh, involve a lot of walking, not going hiking in these. Um, but... These are kind of touted as, touted as the uh, Knicks colorways, the New York Knicks colorways. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Um, 
I would also say, you know, if you're if you're a Knicks fan, these are great. Um, Mets fan, this isn't quite the blue. This is a deep royal blue, not a like bright, vibrant blue. Uh, so it's not quite one to one. Plus, I'd rather get those Nike SB Dunk High that are actually kind of Mets inspired. Those would be better, and I don't think those are going for a ton over retail. These would be cheaper, though. Um, but if you're like a uh, University of Virginia fan, kind of similar. An Auburn fan, kind of similar. Chicago Bears fan, maybe. Uh, Detroit Tigers, maybe. So, you know, there's lots of uh, sports teams that uh, these fit with. This isn't like a be true to your school OG pack colorway. Um, now, I wish... Speaking of which, I do have, I've only got one other pair of these for retail. The uh, University University of Kentucky Dunk Highs. Uh, I got those for retail at a, a localist shop here in Southern California. And they have a slightly different leather. Of course, I didn't wear them. I was thinking about wearing them. And then I wanted to comment on these. We'll get to these in a second when I start to try these on. But, uh, so I didn't wear them. So I don't have them readily available to compare and I don't want to pause and then have to edit this video together because I'm lazy. But I will say the leather is slightly different on those Kentuckys. This has like a more, you know, it's almost more synthetic. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like on general release dunks across the board, uh, the, the leather quality is, is not great. You know, it's pretty thin, uh, real, you know, it, it's not great leather quality. Uh, but you're also only paying a hundred bucks for a shoe. Some people would say you should pay even less, but you know. the point is leather quality is not great, uh, but it's also not being touted as a premium shoe. So that being said, these are a little bit more plasticky. I would say the, the leather is than um, like the university of Kentucky ones. So in a way, uh, more durable, like splash resistant, probably maybe even scratch resistant but maybe over a long period of time and exposure to elements won't hold up as nicely uh, and again the university of kentucky dunk highs the, the leather quality on those isn't great i'm just you, you know some some of you care about these little differences in details but you can see this little like the varnish on it it's almost like you know a synthetic pla plastic uh spray over the top so there you go that's the main difference everything else the same nylon tongue that you find in a general release dunk yeah, this cool orange outsole I like. Let's put these on feet, see how they look. Uh, I'm vibing with it, 138. The shipping really, like, kind of, like, you know, gave me a little uh, kick to the groin. Uh, otherwise, you know, if this was just a little bit of tax and shipping, you know, if these were in the 125, between 120 and 130, totally fine with it. It really is that extra 10, you know, 10 bucks. 18 shipping I'm okay with, you know, uh, that's fine. Okay, let's put these on, see how we feel on foot. I already like, again, as I said, I already like the model itself. General release dunk highs, I mean, you, you're going to have to do a lot to make me not like them. Uh, I mean, there are some. There are some that I don't like, but these these meet the threshold. These meet the floor of like, oh, yeah, I'd wear these. Um, I di okay, speaking on this, the sneaker market and how I was able to get these and uh, the sneaker market going down. I have bought a handful of shoes that have come down in price since, you know, I bought them a year ago, had to have them, had to have them, and uh, definitely regret buying them so high. One of those being, I unboxed on this channel the universe, uh, well not the university, it was the red white, university red, championship red, varsity red, whatever. Um, the red white, I don't even think they were touted as the I've said touted three times in this video. I don't even think they were called the St. John Dunk Highs. Maybe they were. Maybe they were a slightly different shade of red. Anyways, I got those paid over. Um, they've come down a lot since then. I if, if you're into those red and white Dunk Highs, if you're into any Dunk Highs, I would check prices right now. Um, even some Dunk Lows, uh, if they're not the be true to your school color colorway, they're, you know, could be very affordable. So... Yeah, those red and white dunk highs, I love them, but I uh, paid definitely too much for them. I mean, not an insane amount, but like, I think I all in, I paid over 200. I think I paid 211. Right now, I could probably get them for like all in 170, 165. So, you know, still a little feel bad. Nothing crazy, but you know, not made of money. If you can save 30 bucks here, 40 bucks there, uh, worth it. Also, just judging by percentage of the shoe, right? You know, um, 
200 down to like one, 160 or two, 211 down to 166, you know, that's a, you know, 25% drop. That's significant. Okay. I didn't put on black shoes, black socks today. I, in a lot of my videos, I have black Nike socks on. I wanted to try something different. See how these look with uh, just your generic white Nike tube socks, beet gray, not new socks. Cause that's realistically what I'm going to wear these with. And, uh, yeah, these look dope, right? I, I, I dig them. Uh, if you're wondering about sizing again, you can go a half size down. I think if you're not lacing these up tight or if you don't mind a little tighter in the general releases, SB dunks, I wouldn't go a half size down. Regular dunks, go, feel free to go a half size down if you want a snugger fit. You can also go a half size up. My Kentucky dunks are size 12 and they fit me fine. They're not too big. Obviously a little looser, roomier, but it's not, um, it's not bad. Uh, here, I'll put the other one on while I talk about this. So the day I'm filming this and hopefully uploading this, uh, Tom Sachs released his general purpose shoe for the second time on his Nike Craft Tom Sachs website. But you know what? I had the I have the original general purpose shoe. I have the Nike Killshot 2 in leather J. Crew Special um, non-sneakerhead special, clean cut dude special. So check out my wear review of these. This is the OG general purpose everyday shoe. And it's way cheaper uh, than the Tom Sachs one, at least on the secondary market. So anyways, I struck out yet again. Uh, they He made a post saying it's, it's meant to be a perennial release and that do not fear. They will release again, both in the, the studio colorway and other colorways. So I'm going to keep crossing my fingers that I hit for retail. I don't want to pay. I'm just not about paying over retail these days anyway. Uh, first of all, I have enough shoes. You know, once a year, once, twice a year, I might hit on some high heat, and that's, like, enough. Like, if I live a long, a long life, uh, that's still a lot of high heat in the collection. And like I said, with the sneaker market being what it is, I just don't want to really pay over retail when a lot of things are coming down in prices. That You know, it's hard to say with that one. You know, it's a popular, popular shoe, goes with a lot. Tom Sick, the Tom Sacks, you know cult in 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 the sneakerhead culture is strong so i think those will have some good staying power i think th there will be a lot of supply over the years uh the shortcoming years but there will be a lot of people wearing them so like new pairs the, the, the demand will be high supply will be high so whatever that equals out to um people are going to wear them and, and use them so there's not going to like there's not going to be all these hoarded uh dead stock pairs but there will be more Hopefully you guys got lucky. Hopefully I got lucky. So now, now that I got them both on feet, what does everyone think? While you're commenting, please, uh, you know, thumbs up, of, of course. I mean, that goes without saying. But give me a subscribe. It takes you no time, costs you nothing. It's literally free. So, uh, and zero effort. And I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, small, small thing goes a long way. Huh. Let's give these a rating. Really like them. Again, the, the floor for the silhouette, very high. Uh, so like just just having your standard color blocking and not like, I don't know, some people these colors might rub them the wrong way, but like have, not having gross, I don't know. Already I feel like it's a seven. Just standard color blocking on some Nike Dunk Highs, general release, already a seven. Do we give it much more than a seven though? Hmm, we'll give it a slight bump up. 7.25 7.25 for these really like them won't have any issues wearing these i'm not going to call them heaters but they are kind of fire very clean obviously brand new um i'm interested to see what fits i can pull off with these what i'll wear these with uh i think these will complement certain t-shirts and you know and, and, and shorts or pants well uh, maybe a, a hat here or there. Right now I have long hair. I haven't been wearing much hats. But yeah, I like them. Good. If you like them, look online. Look at your online retailers that stock uh, Nike Dunks uh, from time to time. You might be able to find these for retail. I hope you do. You should be able to. If for whatever reason you can or these have finally sold out of, on shelves, definitely check You know your, your eBay, StockX, Goat, uh, all that stuff, Grailed, uh, because... 
Anyone use Whatnot? There's been, they've been doing advertising heavy. Lots of people talking about Whatnot. I would be interested to hear if anyone's still watching what they think of Whatnot. Um, but yeah, 7.25 out of 10. I got some more low heat coming up. Check my other videos out. Uh, more unboxing coming up. Appreciate all of you that are watching. Appreciate all of you that subscribe.